going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new week. Um, I actually want to start things off. I have a couple packages coming in from Amazon. I have one that just showed up today. Then I have a couple coming in within the next few days. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys basically I got some energy drinks that are organic. I got some vegan protein powders and stuff. I want to show you guys and test out. Um, but for right now, let's open up this package and show you what I got. Okay, so first thing was uh, the Guru Energy Drinks. I've never bought them in a 12 pack before, but as you saw in last week's video, um, I do like to drink these. It is completely organic. They usually use uh, some form of tea as your energy, and it kind of helps me stay sustainable throughout the day. I don't drink them that often, but when I do for uh, just getting some energy, this is just a really good boost. Uh, next thing I got here were some cranberry bladder bites. This is uh, for Stella. As you guys remember from last week, uh, she just is going through some uh, health issues. So we're just gonna try to fix that here with some cranberry supplements. And then I got her some toothpaste as well because I try to brush her teeth as often as possible just to make sure that she uh, stays healthy. So anyway, that's it for this box. And then I'll update you guys here later with uh, my next package. All right, guys, I'm currently out shopping at Target, trying to get everything that I can. Um, hopefully I can get everything that I have on my list, but I have to look and see because coronavirus is still happening, so they may not have every single product, so I'm gonna just try to make do with what I can. So as of right now, just to show you, I uh, mostly have a lot of vegetables right now. Basically romaine, mushrooms, potatoes, broccoli. Just basically a bunch of healthy, fresh items that I have to buy every single week. I just try to incorporate as many fruits and vegetables as possible, so. Oh, you guys, I've been looking for Banza pasta for a while now. Um, it's been out for the last couple weeks. This is something that I like a lot because it's made from chickpeas and it's really high in protein. So when I choose to have pasta one night, I try to gravitate towards this just so that I'm still hitting my protein for the day. So to show you on here is around 23 grams of protein. And that is for a serving size of about, let's see. Yeah, I think it's, well, you can't really see it, but it's about 3.5 ounces. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and then we'll be good to go. All right, so I got off work a little bit early today. Had my turkey sandwich with some cuties for lunch, something kind of basic and simple. And then I think I'm making a pot roast tonight for dinner, but don't count me on that. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go head over to uh, Costco because there was a few items I still needed to buy uh, that I couldn't get at the other grocery store. So hopefully they have it. And I go home, do my workout, and I wanna show you guys, I got my second round of packages from Amazon that has my protein powders and protein bars in there. And I wanted to show you guys those. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot to do this afternoon, so let's get moving. All right, so I am now home from Costco. I got a few grocery items. They didn't have the chicken I normally get. I usually go for a fresh organic chicken breast when I have uh, animal protein. Sadly didn't have that, so I had to grab frozen. I grabbed some of my whole grain bread. I always get uh, the Dave's bread. It just always seems to be a pretty good deal. I always put one in the freezer while I'm using the other one. And then once I run out, then I pull the one out of the freezer. It kind of lasts a lot longer because there's no way I'm eating two loaves of bread in one week. Anyway, I got all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead inside and then I'll show you guys uh, the stuff I got from Amazon. All right, so I'm home. I put all my groceries away and I got my packages. They finally arrived from Amazon. I'm going to quickly grab these, put them on the counter, and then show you guys what I got. First thing I got were my Go Macro bars. I always get the peanut butter or chocolate chip ones. They're called the Protein Pleasures. Second thing I got, which is what I'm super excited about, is I got some protein powder. And I saw some reviews on Amazon of this specific brand. And they're vegan and organic. I thought it'd be really fun to try them out. They only have, I think they have four flavors, but these are the two most common ones. They have one in vanilla and they have one in chocolate. And I'm going to do a separate review video on these later. And I'll tell you guys what I think about them. Okay, so I put all that stuff away, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna be making a pot roast tonight uh, in my Instant Pot. I have all the ingredients here that I found yesterday, and I got most of the items 
added to my grocery list and picked them all up. But a couple of the ingredients I didn't buy because it was kind of unnecessary and I already had other ingredients to kind of incorporate. So I'm going to kind of change the recipe a little bit, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to grab all the stuff and put it here on the table and show you guys what I'm going to use to make the pot roast. Okay, so I picked up a truck roast right here from Target. I'm gonna be using vegetable broth instead of beef broth. I don't know if it's gonna change the flavor that much or not. Never done it before, but we'll see how it turns out. And then balsamic vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, seasoning, salt, and tomato paste. So pretty straightforward. I think all I have to do is sear this uh, meat in the Instant Pot first and put some seasonings on it and then just kind of pour everything in there and seal it. So uh, let's just do that. Okay, so the first thing it wants me to do is to make the seasoning blend. I'm gonna put it in a small bowl. I'm gonna cut the chuck roast into three pieces and I'm gonna put the seasoning over the roast and then I will pan sear it in the Instant Pot back there. Okay, so I just finished uh, seasoning my pot roast. I'm now over here by the Instant Pot. I'm gonna turn on to saute mode, and then once it reads hot, I'm going to drop these in there, saute them on each side, and then I believe I'm gonna throw in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so it's now hot, so I'm gonna put the oil in and go ahead and saute this roast. So it looks like I can only fit two at a time in the Instant Pot, so I'm gonna take these out when they are done, put them into this little bowl over here, let them sit for a minute, and then I'll put the other piece in there, cook that, and then I'll throw all the pieces back in. Put in the last few ingredients, which is just the vegetable broth, some tomato paste, the Worcestershire sauce, and the balsamic vinegar, and then I'll put that on for about 55 minutes on high pressure, and then I'm gonna go out for my walk, and hopefully by the time I'm back, um, it should be fully cooked. All right guys, so I decided to come out for a brisk walk. The pot roast is gonna be going for another 50, 55 minutes there in the Instant Pot, so let this be a good time filler and kind of give you an idea of what I wanna be focusing on this week. So I feel like everyone's kind of in quarantine and I just wanted to share what my experience is like uh, being in quarantine for the entire week. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating, my exercises, because I'm gonna be trying to do as much as I can at the house or near my apartment complex and just try to stay as healthy as possible and keep myself away from you know, the virus the best that I can. And uh, it was just some ideas that you guys were throwing out at me. Just sharing what I'm currently doing during these tough times. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna go out and just try to do about a mile or two here as a walk or maybe light jog. And then I'll head back to the house and then we'll eat some dinner. All right, so it's Wednesday afternoon. I got home from work. It's roughly around five o'clock right now, 5.20ish. I got all changed. I'm gonna do a squirt exercise here in the bedroom and I'm gonna be doing some upper body. I'm gonna try to do like an intermediate level uh, upper body exercise. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to do abs. The next day I'm gonna do lower body and then do a cardio session the next day. So I'm trying to like split up my workouts. So I'm gonna try to do that and do as much as I can at home or around my uh, complex of where I live just trying to keep myself as quarantined as possible because that's really my focus this week when it comes to my workouts slash just kind of staying healthy and safe. I didn't film anything yesterday, so sorry about that. Um, I was actually using that to make a video, which I will put a link above for you to check it out. I did a protein powder review on a brand called Koss. It's like an organic vegan plant-based protein powder. Um, so if you're interested, uh, go check that out if you haven't watched it already. I'm just gonna jump into this workout real quick, finish it up and then I'll meet you guys in the kitchen and we'll make some dinner.
All right, the workout's done. I am now gonna start making dinner. I got my bands of pasta that I was able to actually find at the store. So this is where my protein source is coming in tonight. Um, it's gonna be about 23 grams of protein when I do the proper serving size. And then I'm going to saute some mushrooms with some garlic. And I'm also gonna put some spinach in there. And I'll just mix that with the marinara sauce just to add a little bit more vegetable um, to my dinner tonight, so. All right, so it is Thursday evening. Um, I just got home from work. I'm all changed. I'm gonna do a workout here at home. I know I was gonna try to split up my workouts to do different focuses each day, and I think I was trying to do upper body yesterday, and I ended up doing kind of a full body exercise instead. So today I'm going to um, do a little bit of arms, but also fit in some abs, and I'm doing that by following one of the YouTubers workout plan that he posted today, it's Steve Cook. I'm sure everybody knows who he is if you're a fitness person. Um, so I'm going to try to go along with that today and modify if I need to, um, cause I know he's at a different level than I am, but I'm going to try to do that. And I already got some chicken marinating when I came home and I'm going to go take that outside and go grilling. Oh, also last night I had my pasta, which was pretty good. I had it with a Banza pasta and it's a really decent source of protein for me. Um, I definitely say the sauce kind of makes it. If you have Banza pasta by itself, uh, it doesn't taste that good to be really honest. But texture wise, if, if you cook it the right way, it still has the texture of pasta. And then when you have it with your pasta sauce, it really just tastes like regular pasta, like what you'd eat anywhere else. So um, I recommend it if you're trying to have more plant-based sourced protein. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna jump into this workout. I'll show you guys um, the whole thing. The video is only 13 minutes long, so I'm assuming I'm doing multiple sets of it. Um, and we'll just see kind of how it turns out. Okay, so quick update after the workout. Uh, it was definitely very difficult. My abs are not very strong at all. Um, when you watch it, those exercises I felt are, I mean, I don't think they're beginner level, at least in my opinion, I would say they're intermediate. Uh, I, I really made sure I took some extra time. So with each exercise, there was at least some form of rest break. I'll give you a link down to his video below so you can just see exactly how to do the workout. Um, but I had to take a little bit of extra time to kind of recover and did a little bit of modification when it came to the tricep dip. Um, I just couldn't elevate it the way that he wanted to in the video, but I feel like I still got a pretty decent workout uh, in for the most part. And it was good because it was really focused on abs and a little bit of arms. So I'm still kind of separating my different muscle groups and have different focuses each day. So my body has time to recover. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly just kind of cool down for a minute and then I'm gonna go outside and go grill some chicken. All right, I'm finally outside, the grill's hot. I'm gonna throw the chicken on. Hopefully it should be done in about 30 minutes or so. Um, again, it's pretty straightforward. I've shown it to you guys multiple times. I just put a marinade on the chicken. I do use a little bit of olive oil, so I do try to measure a part of that in with my macros because that is a lot of fats. Um, I think like one tablespoon of olive oil is like 200 calories. So definitely wanna be cautious of how much you're putting in there. All right, I'm back in the house. I finished making the broccoli. I just roasted it here and then I have my grilled chicken and then for fun, we're having a little bit of mac and cheese with our dinner tonight uh, to have a little bit of an indulgence. So I'm gonna eat this up and then I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. Good morning. Uh, I got my lunch all put together. I usually just make a basic turkey sandwich, just something to get me through um, the day. I actually also have my Go Macro Bar. I don't always have it for breakfast, but I decided just to have it today because it's been a little more hungry and this kind of gets me through until lunchtime. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a lot, so I need to do my laundry, I need to exercise, I need to also make dinner, so there's a lot of things I'm doing uh, later today, so I also brought a Guru as well in my lunch. Um, it does have like 110 calories in it, it's all carbs because there is a little bit of sugar. It's an organic energy drink and it's just something that I tend to shoot for because I can read all the ingredients 
and I don't have like a crash afterwards. So I'll be uh, drinking that as well. And uh, yeah, I need to wake up. So I'll see you guys after my work shift is over. All right, so I just threw my first load of laundry. That's going right now. I actually got changed and I'm gonna go out for a walk slash run today. So today's focus is gonna be cardio. I'm gonna be doing it um, around where I live. So again, not trying to go too far, I'm trying to stay healthy and in quarantine and try not to be around a lot of people. Uh, I also checked the mail while I was uh, doing the laundry and I got my case cover for my watch because I have been banging and hitting it around a lot. And so I just wanna kinda keep it in good condition while I can. Uh, so yeah, let's just go out for a walk real quick. Get our steps in probably go around three miles or so and then uh switch over the laundry and uh, make some dinner tonight tonight's just going to be doing a salad so uh i just got to clean some lettuce i'm going to be using leftover chicken breast from last night and then a little bit of dressing and that's going to be basically dinner tonight feeling good and uh yeah let's just uh let's go out for a walk i'm jumping back in real quick so i decided to do something a little different with my run today so i've already been walking for about uh, one, a little over one and a quarter miles and I was just trying to just warm up just feel good I didn't want to go Like too hard just do a 5k run today. Just trying to just get some steps in because I want to let my body heal but uh, Then I thought about doing a challenge to myself Which was I'm gonna go up to the light from where I used to run over a year ago I used to run up to this light and then run all the way back to my apartment It's probably a little over. I think it was like a mile and a half there and back um, So I think it's about 0.7 miles We'll see, I actually might be a lot a lot less. I might be overshooting that a little bit. But my goal here is I'm gonna start from this light and I'm gonna run all the way back to my apartment complex. I won't be doing a full sprint starting out, but I'm basically going to kind of go for a fast jog and then try to sprint towards the end and just see if I can make it. Um, because again, usually when I go for my jogs, my pace is around 10 minutes, so I'm not going too hard compared to most runners. So I just wanna see if I'm capable of going pretty decent distance. I would say maybe about half a mile. Um, as fastly as I can. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to see how long it takes me to do that and uh, give you guys an update. So here we go. In about three seconds, you're going to see me uh, super tired and breathing heavy. <laughs> All right, I had to catch my breath there for a second. Um, I ran it in about, I think it's a little four and a half minutes. That was about 0.55 of a mile. So let's say. That would be an average mile pace of a little over nine minutes. I thought it'd maybe be a little faster. Um, but to be honest, I can't even tell you how, how much I'm feeling good in general. Because that run a year ago, I put the vintage up here. I was walking, very slight jogging, and I was still exhausted at the end of it. And I was able to go at least one direction without stopping. That's crazy. I think that's a good successful end to tonight's exercise, so. So I'm off work and I just want to first off just say my leg hurts so bad. So my right leg, it just feels, I guess, sore. I wouldn't say just like awful, awful pain, but you can definitely tell I didn't stretch properly before deciding to do a last minute quick run at the end of my exercise yesterday. Um, but I'm still feeling really uh, happy and on a high. Sad note is I really wanted to go out running again today, but uh, as you can see here, it is raining right now where I live kind of came out of nowhere so won't be running today I'm probably just going to do uh, a swirk it I already did arms arms and abs I did a full body um, maybe I'll try to do I think I'm gonna do some form of upper body again maybe I'll do try to figure out maybe like back exercises not sure arms are feeling okay so maybe I'll just do um, an upper body workout today kind of give my legs a break give them some time to heal I do have a foam roller at the house maybe I'll foam roll a little bit all right, it's now the evening. I actually went inside and took about a two to three hour nap. I got out of work really early, so it's around six o'clock right now. It's pretty cool outside, and so that's why I decided to kind of put on the jacket, take the dog out, and um, just try to get some steps in at least. I really can't run because I still feel really sore, but I still want to get some form of exercise in. Uh, and then maybe I'll do a little bit of my body work it. Uh, we'll see when I get back to the house, so. All 
All right, so this is my final check-in here for this quarantine week. For some weird reason, I didn't have any more footage, so sorry about that. I was about to weigh myself, and I usually film two parts to it, and I lost the second part. I was at around 220 pounds-ish. That was pretty good. I think I lost like 0.2 pounds. Really wasn't much. I was tracking my macros, but sometimes I was a little loose with it. Uh, next week, I'll definitely be a lot better at it. Hopefully, you guys learned some good stuff. This was kind of a really more in-depth week video. So hopefully you guys liked seeing my workouts, everything that I was doing, maybe helped you guys get some ideas on what to do while you're stuck at home. But hopefully you guys had a good rest of your week and stayed safe, and I'll see you guys all next week's video.